Welcome to Embrace Yourself. My name is Kim and I'm a movement specialist passionate about joy, health, and happiness. I want each of us to discover our healthiest, happiest selves. But to do that, we have to get up and move. Today is Tuesday Upper Body Day and I've chosen shoulder pour outs for our exercise today. Now I know it's freezing cold and snowing here, but I'm hopeful that someday it's gonna be spring summer again and we're gonna rock those tank tops. So let's get started. I chose to use two pound weights today, but you could use packages of pasta, water bottles, whatever you have laying around the house. You can also do this exercise without any weight at all and you're gonna see it's still a workout. What I want you to do is take those weights out to the side and I'm starting with my palms facing up. Now the second I do this, I have gravity working against me, so I've got to really cinch and engage my core. I'm softening my knees and I'm thinking about drawing those shoulder blades down. From here, I'm going to rotate the palms to face down and I'm rotating them just slightly towards the back of the room. And then I slowly spiral and open the arms back up just to palms facing the ceiling. So I lower down and I rotate just slightly back and then I slowly rotate up and have those palms facing the ceiling. So the visual I like to think about is I have two pitchers of water. And you know, that's an idea you could try, but I'd keep those pitchers empty while you're doing this exercise. So if I have two pitchers of water, I'm filling them up with water right here and whoo, are they starting to get heavy. And then I slowly pour the water out of the pitcher, rotating those palms to face the back of the room. Then I come back up. Now I want you to notice I'm keeping my shoulders away from my ears. As people fatigue, I often see them and you can see I'm lifting my shoulders up. That is not what I want for this move. I want those shoulders to stay down towards my opposing hip pocket. And I always say the opposite hip pocket and people wonder why. Well, that's because I'm always thinking about my fascial slings and my fascial slings are crossing from one shoulder to the opposite hip pocket. So I'm really focused on that. If anyone has low back issues, they can come into a split stance, slightly bending those knees and do the same exercise. By doing that split stance and rotating my hips ever so slightly, I really focus on keeping my core engaged and it helps me, helps anyone that may have a low back issue because any time we bring weights up or out, this is a load on that spine. And for some of us, this is a difficult move. Now I've got to tell you, we've done what, maybe eight, 10 repetitions, and I am definitely feeling this, and this is only two pounds. So you could choose to go heavier if you like. I'm just trying to make sure all of these moves are doable for any of us, but play around with it. Once again, I'm looking for a longer, leaner muscle for me personally, so I'm not trying to bulk up. There will be a time when we're gonna pick up a heavy weight, and in case we don't have one laying around, we're gonna have to get creative. It might be picking up our smart TV to get the workout done. So in the meantime, this is the exercise. Notice that my palms are staying engaged. I'm not rotating them up or letting them drop down. I never wanna load into the carpals and metacarpals that are in my wrist. So I wanna keep that, fir that arm firm and lengthened. And one last time, we just roll it out and roll it back up. You can stay in either position and just let gravity mess around with you. That is a phenomenal workout as well. So, whew, roll those shoulders back. That was a shoulder burner. That is our home fun for today, which means tomorrow is core day. I can't wait. Make sure to click subscribe on the YouTube channel. Don't forget to ding that bell so you're notified of my videos. In addition, please make a like or a comment. Thank you so much for joining, and I'll see you here tomorrow for Wednesday Core Day.